Hello, welcome back to How to Make Soap by livingonadime.com. Today I am answering the question, where do I buy my supplies? Okay, I tried. Um, <laughs> I've done a lot of videos today, so I'm getting worn out and I still have to do today's show. So <laughs> we do live shows on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4.30 Mountain Time on Living on a Dime on Facebook and YouTube. So check us out there. And you can chat with me and ask questions. Um, where do I buy my supplies? I get them from several places. My lie. I get my lie from theliguy.com. All these will be in the description below. He is great. He ships fast. He has bulk prices. It's about half the price of buying it at the hardware store. So instead of $5, it's about $2.50 for a pound of lye. Now you can buy lye in bigger quantities. I have not found a place around me that does that yet. I live in Denver metro area. You would think I'd find somewhere, but I haven't found any place yet. So if somebody lives in the Denver metro area and you know of a place, please let me know. Um, so right now, currently I purchase my lie from the and that's no lie. <laughs> I made a joke. Okay. <laughs> Um, all right, next, my oils. I usually buy my oils from soaperschoice.com. Great oils, fast shipping again, great quality products. Now, they are usually by far the cheapest anywhere I go, but occasionally Wholesale Supply Plus will have special sales on oils and it is cheaper there. So if you catch a sale at Wholesale Supply Plus, that might be a better deal. But as a general rule, I get all my oils from soaperschoice.com. But I only get my specialty oils, my castor oil, my avocado oil, my palm oils, those things. I buy my olive oil at Walmart. I just get it in the big tub. Just get regular classic olive oil, not extra virgin. The extra virgin is greener and will turn your soap a different color. Kind of a greenish tinge depending on what colors you use. I get my lard at Walmart in the great big tubs. I get my coconut oil currently at Big Lots. I don't know how long that's going to last but right now they have these large jugs. Ugh. These large jugs for $12. So that's a super, super good deal. Where do I buy my fragrances and my micas? Well, I get those at a variety of places, actually. I get at, uh, let's see, I'm thinking, rusticessentials.com has wonderful fragrances and I've gotten soy candle wax there and I've gotten lip balm tubes and my lotion tubes there. Um... They just have really good fragrances. I love their fragrances and I don't know really much about their micas, to be honest. I have not purchased micas from Rustic Essentials. So if you have, please comment in the, in the description below and let me know. Also, let us know where you guys buy your supplies because I'm always looking for new sources and that kind of thing. So I'd love some you know new input from you guys. Next, Nature's Garden has wonderful fragrances and they're cheap. I love Nature Garden fragrances. I've only ordered from them once, but I ordered a big batch because everybody just raves and raves about them for good reason, because they really have great fragrances. Um, then Brambleberry.com. I order from them occasionally. I got my big molds. Where's my mold? I got my liner for this. Now, um, I will say I really like these mine, these liners, but one of them had an indentation so that it sticks up. And this isn't the one, but it sticks up like that. And it does put an indentation in my soaps. And I've had it for since November, and this is April thinking my soaps would push it down and, and flatten it. And it never worked. So, I'm a little disappointed that I spent 15 bucks for a liner 
and it's not working. And I did ask them about it and they didn't offer to return it, which I was kind of disappointed about. But <laughs> but I just wanted an exchange, but I guess I could have just flat out asked them, but it's not really worth me messing with paying the shipping back and everything. So, um, but I love Brambleberry. They have wonderful fragrances. They have wonderful micas. I really like all their products. She is a soaper herself, so she knows what she's doing. And I just really, really like their products. They have great products. Now they do have um, sales every now and then also, so you can get some things and try some new things on sale. And the best part about Brambleberry is what I order from them is because they answer your questions. When I was first starting to learn how to pipe and add colors and fragrances and everything, I had tons of questions and they answered all of them. They have all, this little chat window that you can go down. Love it. They answer usually within 24 to 48 hours. It's great. If you catch them online, they'll, they'll answer it right then, which, you know, just depends on when they're online. But I just love their stuff. So Brambleberry is where I get some fragrance color molds, that kind of thing. Um, Micah's and more. Now this is a Facebook group. If I understand, I don't know. My friend Jamie ordered for me. I haven't actually ordered. I had her order for me and then I just paid her back and Micah's and more has these great Micah's and I tried them for the first time and she is right. They are really good quality Micah's. Just do a search for Micah's and more. I'll ask Jamie for the link and put it down there. Now the only drawback for her is you can only order once a month. She only has a certain number of days that you can order a month and then that's it. But her prices are really, really good. So I'm happy about that. I think that's great. And um, I, you know, really like her products. So anyway, she has some good Micah's. Let me think, what else am I missing? I get my beeswax for my lotion bars from Amazon at currently. I get my digital scale from Amazon, my digital thermometer from Amazon. All these links will be in the description below. I also get my essential oils from Amazon and that will be in the description below. I have not found a better price on essential oils yet. So if someone knows of a better price, let me know. I'm sure it's out there, but I haven't found it yet. Um, but I do get my essential oils from Amazon also. So that is where I buy my supplies. I hope that gives you an idea of places to start. Um, I didn't mention Wholesale Supply Plus very much. So I used to use them a lot. And my friend Jamie uses them all the time. But they changed their policy to where... They still do free shipping, but their prices are crazy high. And I honestly have not found very good deals. Now, occasionally Jamie will tell me, oh, this is on sale or that is on sale. If you catch something on sale and combine coupons and that kind of thing, then it might be worth it. And Jamie buys a lot of her stuff there. She loves it. But I personally find Nature's Garden to be cheaper on the fragrances that I buy. But, you know, just check around. It's just comparison shopping, guys. This is not, you know, it's just like going to the grocery store. Some places are cheaper than others. So, anyway, I hope that gives you an idea. And give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share. Please share it with all your soaping friends or even friends who might want to learn to make soap. And be sure to check out my How to Make Soap for Beginners e-course. I'll see you guys on the next show.